Elijah Moore. I, I'm, I'm from the Bronx. I go to Cardinal Hayes High School. I'm a junior right now, but I'm committed to Syracuse for the class of 2024. Father of Elijah Moore. Some of them you know him as Chopper, but to me, he's just my Eli. <laughs> I just want to be able to change people's lives. I want to be able to change my dad's life. I want to be able to change, you know, my community and, you know, little kids in my community. I want to be able to help the best way I can, for sure. So I want to be able to get to the NBA and, you know, give back to the people. I first noticed Eli's talent for basketball when he was five or six. He just always wanted to dribble in the house all day for hours, had the little small dunk rim in, in the house and just played on it like all day. Didn't want to watch TV, didn't want to do anything but shoot, dribble, and so since he was five, six years old, we've been at it. Well, I've known Eli for about like probably five, six years now and I met him through middle school. He was actually younger than me, playing up. So when I was in eighth grade, he was in about fifth grade, playing up with us, so. <laughs> well, for me, I don't have any, um, like, family and, like, siblings that I'm, like, that live with me. So every time I go outside, like, my neighborhood or people that I grow up with or play ball with, they're, like, you know, like, my family, like, my older brothers, kind of. Pass you, pass you, just hand it back off. <laughs> hey, gotcha. Oh, come on. If I miss, I'm going to do it again. Oh shit! Hold on, let me do it. 
and the worst the worst the worst part is when you go and you kill someone that's ranked higher than you and then you look at the updated rankings and then they're still higher than you. That's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> You said the same story. Us, the when I hit the oh, the game winner. I mean, Elijah had a, a lot of big moments. I remember when he was playing with um, the um, the CY CYO league when he was like second or third grade. It was the semifinals, um, and it was like we was down two. Got the ball, my, my point guard came down, he passed to me. And he hit a big shot to take them to the state championship. You know, last minute shot that went in. That was a big deal for him. And that was like a very big moment for me. From then on, I kind of like really wanted to keep working hard and keep like playing because it was like fun. And I, I like, I, I love the feeling and like the adrenaline. It was an important motivational tool for him you know, moving forward. So that probably was it. And obviously, you know, um, Syracuse. Welcome into the 24 seven sports channel. I'm today's host, Adam Finkelstein, and we have yet another exciting commitment an early one from Cardinal Hayes and New York Wiz Kids 2024 guard, Elijah Moore. Elijah Moore. The moment is here, and it's time for you to announce where you're going to be playing your college basketball. Uh, oh, the next, you know, two, three, maybe four years, I will be attending.
Rebound, bro. He's too low, bro. Go grab a rebound, bro. Kyra <laughs> Alexander, doors for you. That's all you got here. Stop so Oh my hard. God, that's cool. Good pass.
coaches try to tell me, hey, don't play CYO ball. The most important thing is, to be honest, from the age of five, six, seven, until they're 13 years old, that it remains fun. We really didn't do like weight workouts. We didn't do like too much strength conditioning. He jogged, but we kept it fun. We allowed him to play on different teams where you know he was able to showcase his talent and love the sport. And then as he got you know 14, 15, then we began to pick up the the other elements of what makes a good player. Your attention, please. In eighth grade, I met my coaches from Whiskids, which is definitely a blessing for sure. They helped me a lot, Coach Dean and Coach Muggs. So, you know, just being able to continue working with them and, and working with my dad, and then finally having someone that had my back and believed in me, definitely was great. doesn't really play for rankings you know like our purpose is bigger than that like so you know uh, when you're in the, when you're a chopper fan you know or you're a fan of Elijah Moore you're a fan of the community you know because his mission is my success is not for me it's for the community around me
I'm a tough man, I've been the guy who's been the role player. I'm going to do more of that. You got to work your way up, you got to get going. All right? You got to play hard defensively. You got to sprint, run the floor. You got to do the little things. And this is me watching. When I come out of the way, I'm going to do the little things. I'm going to do the little You know, going back to the hotel, having to relax, or staying in the gym and walking around with your teammates, those are the moments that like, I really love. You know, those are the moments that you know, build friendships. Since he was young, we've been going to gyms for hours and hours of practice, working on small details. I just want to change, you know, people's lives, regardless if that's, you know, going to the NBA. I want to go to the NBA for sure, but I just want to be able to change people's lives. I want to be able to help the best way I can for sure. So I want to be able to get to the NBA and, you know, give back to the people. Being a legend is not scoring 40 at Rucker. His mission is my success is not for me, it's for, you know, the, the people around me.